Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another beautiful episode of Friday Night Flashbang, except this time on a Tuesday. You know, Flashbang is normally on a Friday, but for us today, it's a Tuesday. I'm not going to make that reference. I'm out here to address the World Heavyweight Championship title picture. After a hellacious Iron Man cage match, we once again have an inconclusive winner. While Spike fought valiantly, he did not defeat Victor Vicious, but such is the champion's advantage in that Victor did not beat Spike. And so here I'm left with a conundrum just weeks ahead of Multivania, a tremendous main event that still didn't give us a clear winner. And yet, I feel as though we have seen Spike and Victor give us everything that they could possibly have. And on the other hand, I feel as though Spike has still not gotten a fair opportunity. What a shame. So here I am, what to do, what to do. Well, Spike and Victor need at least a week to recover, but I have come up with an idea that I think will suffice. You see, next week we are going to have an eight-man showcase match, and the winner of that match will face Victor Vicious in the main event of Multivania. And because I feel it's only fair, I will guarantee Spike a spot in that match. Another piece of news. Later on tonight, we will see Tigiri in action against... Moya Draco, and if she wins that match, that will be four in a row for the Troll Train. So, Johan, if your wife can win here tonight, I will put you in that showcase, and if you win that match, that will make it five in a row. So you will be eligible to face Victor Vicious. Since we're throwing the stakes around... As for the rest, you'll just have to wait and see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into Friday Night Flashbang. My name is Eric Generics, and I'm flying solo. And we've got a showcase match for the ages. A number one contendership match. Wow. Incredible. We've also got some clarity on the trio's title picture. Which we'll get to in just a second, but coming up. Electro Reality and the Princeton have been locked in a bitter conflict over the last couple of weeks. And they put it to rest here tonight. But ahead of their match, which is coming up next, we are going to hear from Electro Reality. You know, Reginald, if this was just a best of five series, Electro Reality has already taken the cake, but you are asking for another match to be the final battle. I see where you're coming from, so I will say yes on behalf of the boys. Whether it's now so one of us proceeds to title greatness at Multivania, or we wait until Multivania and then bash the shit out of each other then, because I don't think we have many other roster members populating the card, thanks to Mr. Lawson. So, Brass, I'm not saying what rules or stipulations, but I, as the bookkeeper, give you the freedom to determine what's necessary to make this a match to remember. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that match is coming up next. Electro Reality versus Princeton, and the stipulation is simple. The winner of this match is going to get a tag team title shot next week. Let's see who it's going to be. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first, 
and a combined weight of 525 pounds, the team of the VR Junkie and Electro Man, Electro Reality! So Electriality and the Princedom with all the marbles on the line, a tag team title opportunity. Team of Sir Reginald and Sir Percival, the Princeton. And this capacity crowd is uh, not enjoying their entrance. We'll put it that way. Gentlemen, as we mentioned on our social media tweet, our main event, Artemis will go one-on-one -on -one with Kath Gina here tonight. And we now know that that match will be extreme rules. And if Artemis can win, he will give Graven Jagger and Jack Andrews an opportunity to compete in Multivania. If he loses, well, he's on the pine with the rest of them. And I'm sure the fake queen would love to ruin some more dreams as she has done in recent weeks. We will also see the return of the Citric King as he goes one on one with the Cleaver. But before we get to any of that, we have to find out who is going to be the first opponents for the tag team titles and their champions, the Time Bandit. Now a boot to the midsection. Reginald getting lifted up. Electro Man. Look at the big power in the uppercut. We also know that coming up later tonight, the Night Reaper Zericus, who laid out an open challenge, had it accepted by Vaporwave's Rico Rose. So that match will be later tonight. And now Reginald working over the arm of Electro Man. A huge opportunity, a tag team title opportunity next week. Nobody home. And now Electro Man trying to cut off the ring. And now lifting Reginald up. Fireman's carry and a big right hand. What a shot to the jaw of Reginald. Shot in off the ropes. Big clothesline. Now into the corner, big clothesline again. And now Reginald, head first off the turnbuckle. Tag made, here comes Junkie. Double arm wrench, shot to the gut. Oh, Shades of the Republic! Bully! Now, Reginald continuing to try to focus on the arm, this time a junkie, and tag made, and here comes Percival. And the hard Irish whip into the corner. And the kicks to the gut. Nice deep judo toss there from Junkie. Shot to the arm. Trying to lift up. Percival, look at the power of Junkie with the gut wrench. Also coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, an eight-man showcase match. 
We already know that in Multivania, we will have another King of the Showcase match. It will be Lasume defending their crown. Oh, what a maneuver there. Trying to make the tag junkie cut him off. We know that Lasume will defend that title against seven other competitors. The top seven showcase winners that are not currently in a match at Multivania. So an opportunity to get another win on the board for everyone here tonight. Stomp to the elbow. Oh, ran him over. And now kicked away, Percival. Oh, and a big clothesline there from Electro Man. There's the body blow. Look out here, Electro clothesline. Look at that, nice headlock takeover. And then holds on, maintains wrist control. And again, both men working over that arm. And now into the corner. Electro Man in some trouble. Percival, big European uppercut off the middle rope. Into the cover, this could do it. To get a tag team title opportunity, no. Kick out at two. Electro able to fight out. Oh, the Electro clothesline. Into the cover, one. Ten broken up by Reginald. Electro Man not happy about that. And look at Junkie. Junkie going right after Reginald. Oh, and a counter. And Junkie sent to the outside. And out of the corner. Oh, this could be trouble. They're putting the boots to Electro Man. Junkie nowhere to be seen. Shot after shot after shot, another tag made. And now it's Percival with the boots. And now the big drop kick. Into the cover one, and a kick out. And again, right back to the arm. Oh, Electro Punch! Electro Punch to Reginald. And there's the big elbow. And now trying to twist the head of Reginald. Look out here. Oh, the Electro Colors line is countered. Reginald, counter again. And runs him over. And another counter for counter. These teams know each other so well at this point. Into the cover. Oh, look at this. Electro Man, oh, and a kick out. Trying to use every trick in the book. Oh, look out here, boot to the midsection. Looking for the pedigree. And it connects. Into the cover, one, two, broken up by Junkie. And he might pay for it here, but trying to get out of Dodge. Look at, oh, and Reginald shoved back by Junkie. Gotta stay focused on the legal ban, and that is Electro Man. Looking for a second pedigree now. Going downstairs, Electro Man. Driven into the mat and busted open. One and broken up again by Junkie. And Reginald daring him to come back in the ring. Electro Man busted open. And now there's the right hand. Another right hand. 
Shot in off the ropes, Reginald. The, oh, the knee right to the cut on Electro Man's forehead. But Electro Man still fighting. And now trying to stretch out his arm. And now picking him up. It could be time. Electro punch, down he goes. For a shot at the tag titles. Oh! Percival broke it up and knocked out the ref. Oh, and he just got dropped with a code red. And now into the turnbuckle. Reginald. Countered. Electro Man. The hard Irish whip. Oh, right into an uppercut. You know, Electro Man trying to make the tag. Fresh man in. Here comes Junkie. Reginald. Oh, got run over. That didn't work. Body blows now. And now Junkie. Oh, look out here, the counter was looking for the VR bomb. And again into the corner. Big clothesline. Shoulder check by Reginald. And again, back to the arm. Stiff right hand. Another right hand. Oh, we could be looking at it here from behind this time. VR bomb incoming, connects! And now right hand to Reginald. This could be it. Electro Reality closing in on a tag title opportunity! Down goes Reginald! One! Two! No! He got him! Here are your winners and new number one contenders! Electro Man and the VR Junkie! Electro Reality! And they are putting the boots to the Princeton! And now Reginald being chucked to the outside! And ladies and gentlemen, what a matchup for our opening match. We now know that we will have a new number one contender in the form of Electro Reality. And next week, they will go two on two with the Time Bandits with the tag titles on the line. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we are gonna hear from the Bulldog Grant Martin about his upcoming match with Sheer Khan at Multi Vinny. The stipulation is simple. Lose and Bulldog is out of Honor Bound. Win and Sheer Khan has to get off his back. Sheer Khan, we've been up and down this road together. We've been down this same road together. We've been on the same side of the ring and we've been on opposite sides of the ring, but never, never once have I questioned you as a competitor, but for the first time, I am questioning your intelligence. You see, Khan, 
When we were rolling on the same side, I thought that that might be a long-term thing, but what happened was the landscape of Flashbang changed. After you got taken out by Kevin Blackwell, which by the way, it was me that came to your aid. Never forget that. Things started to look a little bit different than the last time you were on Flashbang. Whether that was because of the Empire of Terror or the rise of the cartel, things were different. And a different time called for a different strategy. And once the Empire of Terror was no more, I had an opportunity to sit down with Simon the Psycho and I realized he was held down by Earl King like everybody else that Earl King has used. So yeah, you could talk a lot about his old track record, but let's talk about what he's done recently. None of the stuff that Earl King did can be held against Simon. It's just not fair. Oh boy, here we go. You know, funny that you should say that, Bulldog. You're always defending the innocent, but do you really believe that Simon the Psycho is innocent? Think about what you're saying. He's in the same category as Earl King West, the Grim Reaper, Dark Lord Popo, Dark Lord Prinny. All of them are the same. See, Khan, I thought you would have a little bit more empathy than that. I thought you were the kind of person that would judge a man based on his actions. And as far as I'm concerned, yes, yeah, Simon might have followed a couple of orders, but he never crossed the same lines as Earl King West or Dark Lord Prinny. Didn't cross the same lines? Did you forget what he did with Jagger Blackthorn where he jumped from reality to reality, from dimension to dimension. He loves to play mind games and he loves to mess with people. You're telling me that's not the same as Earl King West? He's a manipulator. And right now, he's manipulating you and DeLuna. Well, then we're gonna have to agree to disagree, Shere Khan. Because unlike Earl King and Dark Lord Prinny, and even how in the world can you put his name in the same sentence as Kevin Blackwell, the man that ripped off your mask, that stole the mask of DeLuna's father? You're gonna put that man in the same category as Simon? Yeah, yeah I am. Because as far as I'm concerned, Blackwell was just better at getting the job done. Simon likes to run around and whine and complain and talk about these other forms and the pride of the hunt and the honor of this and the honor of that. The bottom line is, when push came to shove, I pinned his shoulders to the mat twice. The kid is a chump. All right, Khan, I don't know what to do with you. The fact that you're basically making me choose between the path that I think that I need to walk and my friendship with you is ridiculous. Have you ever taken a look in the mirror and realized that maybe you, you're the one that's going down the wrong path? If everybody else is crazy, maybe it's you that's a little loco, compadre. Oh, and a boot to the midsection! Shere Khan had heard enough! And here we go, Bulldog and Khan one more time! And look out here. Oh, the forearm shot to Shere Khan. And I'll try to twist his head off. Bulldog made an excellent point. I don't know if Shere Khan had a retort or if he was just sick of talking. And now shots to the gut. Right hand. Shere Khan catching a boot from Bulldog. 
who will be in action later tonight against Lionel Matrix. And now a return to sender is spinning heel kick there by Sheer Khan. And now lifting him up. And now the roll, the running knee right to the jaw. And now shoving him away. Jawbreaker to Bulldog. Look at the power of Khan trying to reverse. Bulldog with a reverse fall away DDT. And a close line from Khan. Finally, a referee in there to break this up, trying to get Khan off of him. But these two don't want to wait till Multivania to go at it. These two know each other so well, that is going to be a hell of a match. And coming up next, folks, an eight-man showcase match. Huge implications for Multivania again. The top seven most winningest showcase competitors will challenge Lasume for that king of the showcase crown. And ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to want to go anywhere because coming up later tonight, our main event, Artemis, goes one-on-one -on -one with Kath Gina in an extreme rules match. Anything goes. And huge implications in that match. If Artemis can win, Jagger Blackthorn, Graven, and Jack Andrews will be allowed to compete at Multivania. Should he lose, he will join them on the sidelines. The following contest is an eight-man showcase match. Introducing first, weighing in at 249 pounds, the aristocratic Kane. Well, here comes one of the most dapper competitors in all of MNW, the aristocratic Kane who this time last year was challenging uh, a certain dapper fellow on Warzone. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to play along at home with our MNW bingo cards. That's right, you too can be a winner winner chicken dinner at home. So a showcase match is quite simple. Eight competitors, you win by pinfall or submission. It's an elimination style match. There will only be one left at the end of it all. And introducing second. Representing Spectre Sonata. Weighing in at 172 pounds. TK. Well, the Neko Cat with an opportunity to punch her Multivania ticket.
So already an interesting lineup. We know that PK has had a lot of luck in showcase matches, but she is in there against the aristocratic candidate who has three showcase wins to his name. Who will be competitor number three? Oh, snap! And introducing third, weighing in at 201 pounds, she is the Beast Mom, Naja! Well, it looks like Apprentice and Teacher are gonna be in the same match. Trying to get one step closer to Multivania, we might have a queen of the showcase. Naja has recently been teaming with the forces of nature to make the beasts of nature. Oh no, there goes the budget. And introducing Ford. Winging at 265 pounds from the Doofington Estate, the Doof. Boy, could you imagine Multivania with the Doof on it? Last year he was a member of that dance off that Donkey Kang one. If you've ever wondered why we have a tight budget here on Friday night, you're about to see. So the Duke entrant number four, and uh, here it is. Goodbye to our budget. Thanks for playing. There it is. It's completely unnecessary, but you know, most things are in life. Oh boy. And introducing Fib, representing Fabulous, weighing in at 229 pounds, Sugar Foot Iron. Probably one of the only people that could uh, hang with Doof, another, another person who was in that dance off at Multivania last year. Ah, the elegance. And he doesn't need obnoxious pyro to get there. We'll be right back after these quick commercial breaks. Don't go anywhere.
and on his way to the ring, introducing six. Representing AAA, he is one third of the trio's tag team champions, Otoro Azul. And we mentioned that we were gonna talk about the trio's titles. We know that the next and first defense for AAA will come from Warzone at Multivania. Charismatic big man of Triple A. boy and introducing seven swinging at 222 pounds representing doom he is the pumpkin king magic well business just picked up the person that Otaro Azul took that belt off of, one third of Doom. And still to come later tonight, we will see another member of Doom, Zarekis, going one on one with Rico Rose of Vaporwave. Certainly, Mad Jack would like to get a uh, showcase win, maybe punch his ticket to Multivania. Okay, oh, that's a little creepy. This man is unhinged. If you can use the word man, I don't know if that's an appropriate, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, number eight is always a treat. Who is going to be number eight in this big time showcase match with Multivania implications? Wait, what? And introducing eight. Weighing it at 243 pounds, he is the Black Prince of Wales, Jack. Oh, well, that'll do it. Wow, the Prince is back. It looks like Jack didn't give a damn whether or not he's got a spot on the Multivania card. He is here to kick ass and take names. And he's pointing at the other seven competitors. And folks, here we go, showcase time. And we're off. And immediately out of the gate, it's Naja and Otoro, belly to belly to Naja. And now it's Sugarfoot and Aristocratic Kaden, Mad Jack and Jack Andrews, Duke and TK. But Duke just cold cocked Otoro. And now it's gonna be Teacher and Apprentice, Naja and TK going after each other. And now 
Mad Jack looking to do some damage. Lining up Andrews, big boot right to the face. And now dragging him towards the center of the ring. Uh oh, Mad Jack to the outside. Look out here, Andrews, trick or treat! And Jack rolls to the outside. Jack able to get the hell out of Dodge, and right now it's Kanan and Sugarfoot Iron. And oh, drop kick into the barricade by Mad Jack. Duke trying to eliminate Otaro with a kick out. TK going after Naja, hanging her out to dry into the cover. One and a kick out. And a kick out at two. Jack Andrews again after Mad Jack now. Grabbing him by the head. Turns him around, boot to the midsection. And now look, oh look out! Oh, the fisherman suplex! Into the stairs! Good grief! Body blows to Mack. Oh, and Otoro's eliminated. Otoro Azul has been eliminated. And now TK looking to roll up Naja. One, two, and a kick out of two. The Duke just eliminated Otoro Azul. And now Magic counter there to Andrews. Kick to the leg. Oh, what a clothesline! And now, oh, Naja taking down TK. Duke sent into the corner. Andrews now throwing Mad Jack back into the ring. Naja catching a boot from Sugarfoot Iron. And a hard Irish whip. Naja sending Irons into the corner. Counter there, Kanan. Oh, looking for the. Inzaguri, but countered there, double underhook. Kanan into the bridge, wide and a kick out. And now Naja looking to eliminate Deuce. TK the Cat is poised, looking to take out the Kanan. Look out here, the Spanish fly! Into the cover, TK! One, two, no, a kick out. Now Iron's gonna fly, look out here. Oh, and down goes TK. At least I thought she was, she didn't get knocked off her feet. And now going after Andrews, look out here. Front slam. Now there's the single leg drop kick by Kanid. Duke looking for a second elimination, Magic. Got him, but what is happening? Mad Jack has been eliminated. And now Doof with a bionic elbow. The Doof with back-to-back -back eliminations. But talking a little trash and Naja says enough of this nonsense. What a roundhouse. And Doof rolls to the outside. Goodbye, Kanan. Irons is down. Two. Got him. Sugarfoot Iron has been eliminated. Oh, look out here, TK! TK's going up! Looking for the beast! Bomb! Into the cover! One, two, no, and a kick out! Now Naja countered. Doof setting Kanan back in. Doof has been on a roll. Two of the three eliminations so far. And now what a Doof, wait a second. Doof feet on the ropes. Kanan one, two, that's legal. Oh, he kicked out. And a clothesline at TK. And now Kanan, Tornado DDT. Into the cover. 
One, two, got him! The Duke has been eliminated. Canada getting closer to their fourth showcase win, but they gotta go through Jack, Andrews, Naja, and TK to do it. Oh, look out! There's the counter! That could be it! Two! Oh, and a kick out! The sunset flip countered. Oh, and Jack Andrews has been busted open. And now the cover, wait a second, it's behind the barricade, two, three. TK has been eliminated. Naja just took out TK and we're down to three. And now Andrews countered, looking for the spine buster, but it was countered. And now look out here, oh, the moonsault. Oh, the cross body to Kanan. Naja with her second elimination. Oh, the stop on the concrete. Oh, my Lord in heaven. One, two, three. Good grief. Aristocratic Kanan has been eliminated. And now Andrews, look out here, scoop slam. What a win this would be for both of these competitors. And a counter by Naja. And now the chop. Look out here, backbreaker. And now Andrews. The combination kicks. Oh, down he goes. And now Naja into the cover. One, two, got him! What a match! Here is your winner, the Beast Mom, Naja! Four eliminations by the Beast Mom. Absolutely incredible, ladies and gentlemen. And coming up next, we've got tons more excitement and action. And you're not going to want to go anywhere. Naja picking up a huge win in that showcase match. And that can only mean one thing, ladies and gentlemen. She's one step closer to Multivania. And now it's time for the open challenge laid down by the Night Reaper, Zarek, as he will go one-on-one -on -one with Rico Rose. And that match is next. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a quick moment. We'd like to remind everybody that tonight's episode of Friday Night Flashbang is brought to you in part by Lowe's. Lowe's, but why? So Mad Jack unsuccessful in his showcase match. Will Zerikus have any better luck in his one-on-one -on -one contest with Rico Rose? We're gonna find out right now. scheduled for one ball. Introducing first, weighing in at 245 pounds, representing Doom, he is the Night Reaper, Zerakes.
So Zerikus laid out this open challenge. And of course, we expected Vaporwave to maybe accept, but we a lot, a lot of us expected Apollo Hades. It was Rico Rose that stepped up to the plate. Introducing his opponent, representing Vaporwave, weighing in at 262 pounds, Rico Rose. The powerhouse of Vaporwave. It is speed versus strength. And here we go, one on one, Zerikus and Rico Rose. Oh, and Rose! With a back body drop right out of the gate. And head first off the canvas goes Zerikus and Rico, not with the time, trying to take advantage of this opportunity. Stomp to the gut, continuing to do work. Another boot to the midsection, no counter. Slapped away the arm. And now Syracuse with a neck breaker. Now trying to break the legs of Zerikus. Rose. Boot to the midsection, goes Zerikus. Right hands. And now Dragon Rico towards the corner. Face first off the turnbuckle. And now Rose all the way to the top rope, goes Zerikus and kicks him away. Oh, got caught. Sweep of the leg, Yuranagi. And now Rose countered, Fireman's carry. Oh, what a clubbing blow. And continuing to do work. And now look out here, the fist dropped to Rico. Now trying to drive the foot right into the canvas. Good grief. And now continuing to do work and now, oh, look at these elbows. And now trying to wrench back, Campbell clutch applied. Sweeps the legs. Rico starting to build some momentum. Right hand turns him around. Look out here. Oh, what a neck breaker. And now counter by Zerikis trying to respond. And now Rose immediately trying to pick himself up in the corner. Hard Irish whip across the ring. And a big clothesline to Zerikis. Now look at the power, Rico, with a gut wrench off the mat. And no oh, slams him down. And now Zerikus has turned to counter. Big uppercut. Boot to the midsection. Counter, another boot, return to sender. And now the oh, German suplex. 
And now Zerkis gonna fly, might be looking for the guillotine. Off the top rope, dropping the leg, nobody home! But good recovery by Zerikis. He went for it all and got nothing. Into the cover. One, and a kick out at one. Now trying to slow the pace of this match down, probably smart. After colliding with the mat on that guillotine attempt. Drop. And another German suplex. Knee right to the face. Zergis trying to psych himself up, stomp to the elbow. Continuing to do work. And now Poiser ready, Rico. What's he looking for here? Look at the pal, look out here. Oh, the front slam into the cover. What in the world was that? Got him. What? What in the hell was that? Here is your winner, Rico Rose. Can you say got him? What a match! That was a hell of a match. Well done by both competitors. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we are gonna hear from Suicide Gemini. once again missing the point completely. Now why would you go and be so mean to my tag team partner? Samuel Manatee has done nothing to you except provide beautiful meals for everyone in MNW, Warzone, and Flashbang. So I had to ask myself, why would you try to send such a terrible message? Is it maybe because I've got him under your skin? Is that why you think attacking the outlaws on Warzone is going to bring you some kind of match or revenge against me? You forget I'm in the driver's seat, little pets. Not you. But if you're looking for a modicum of revenge, I think I might have an idea. You're going to have to give me some time to work out the particulars, so if you could just leave me be for, oh, I don't know, I'll say the next week or so, maybe on Friday night you'll get a proposal from my side, if you will. A multi venue proposal.
Now, Mizu, I expect you to keep your little bull frames in line. I expect you to tug on the leash of your little phoenix and keep your shark where he belongs. Underwater and away from the wrestling ring. Because if they come after me, you won't have your revenge, Mizuki. All you'll have is the broken, beaten carcass of a husband that you can enjoy on my behalf. But don't worry, it will be worth the wait. I promise you. I mean, I know you've wanted to prove yourself, Mizuki. What with all the backlash you've had to face and all of the trials and tribulations. Oh, it's so sad. I simply call it karma. I'll see you next week. Well, that's not creepy at all. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we are going to see the Bulldog go one-on-one -on -one with Lionel Matrix. But before we get to that, we are going to hear from the other member of Honor Bound. We are going to hear from DeLuna13. You know, Con, I thought after fighting by your side, hanging out in the ring, even wrestling against you, you'd know me better. But it appears that's not the case. So instead of getting mad, I'm going to take this opportunity to reintroduce myself to you and everyone else at MNW. Greetings and salutations, my name is Zula Zulkin. I am the 13th member of the Lee family to wear this mask. I'm a co-founder of Honorbound, a three-time showcase match winner, one of the few people in the company that has a 901 pay-per-view record, and one of three people who beat Ginger Boy while he was champion aside from Henry Holtz and Nero Napier. I'm not a person who poisons the mind of anybody. I'm not someone that does anything evil, shady, or immoral to get what I want. Instead of having to explain that again, I'm going to let my actions speak for themselves. But I'm going to end with this. Khan, I genuinely wish you well. In your matches, Bulldog. I know that we at Honor Battle are simply results no matter what happens. The question is, will you? DeLuna is also a man who won that Road to Multivania eight man showcase match. But tonight, he is in the corner of his buddy, the Bulldog Grant Martin, as he goes one on one with somebody who would love to get their hands on one of the uh, Brass's henchmen, or at least that's how they would view it. It's the Prophet of Nortia versus the Bulldog, and it is next. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first. Weighing in at 244 pounds, being accompanied to the ring by DeLuna and representing Honor Bound, the Bulldog, Grant Martin. Ooh. So Grant Martin, accompanied by the Bulldog, will go one-on-one -on -one with Lionel Matrix. Valid points backing up Bulldog sentiments from earlier that they believe in Simon the Psycho. And it's 
Introducing his opponent. Being it coming to the ring by Hey Mr. Rabbit, weighing in at 234 pounds, representing the Grand Equation. He is the prophet of Nordia, Lionel Matrix. So Matrix with an opportunity to get his hands on some of the hired help that Mr. Lawson has used. Although Simon made a uh, very clear statement a couple of weeks ago, they would not be used for nefarious purposes by the brass or Lawson. But regardless, the fact that they are even remotely related to Lawson and the brass is enough for Lionel Matrix to want to put his foot down Bulldog's throat. And the grand equation has been on a roll. Henry Colt picking up a win last week with his lasso submission. Matrix and Rabbit have both looked good in their respective showcases. And here we go, one on one. And immediately some chain wrestling. The arm wrench by Matrix. Dropping Bulldog down to one knee. And now continuing to apply pressure. Bulldog trying to fight out of it. Matrix daring him to come back. And now, oh, here we go again. Side headlock, and now it's Bulldog's turn. Wrench it on the head. And now immediately to a hammer lock. Back and forth we go. Great chain wrestling from these two. And now sweeps the leg. And now it's Bulldog with the advantage as Matrix gets back up. And a neck breaker to Bulldog. And now shotting off the ropes. Dropped down by Bulldog. Headbutt you. And a clothesline into the corner. Bulldog sent down, Matrix kicked right to the chest. Into the quick cover, one. Then a kick out at one. Bulldog hasn't had a one-on-one -on -one match recently, mostly involved in tag matches or being at the side of one of his compatriots. So definitely an important match for him to get his mojo going. And a big stomp there to Matrix. And now into the cover. And a kick out immediately by Matrix. A kick to the back. Nice deep arm drag. And a headbutt. Using his head as a battering ram into the turnbuckle. Bulldog looking like he's out on his feet. Into the cover, shoots him. Back over center of the ring, kick out before one. Looks like Matrix just did. Neither one wanted to give an inch. And now immediately into an arm bar. Bulldog trying to pull the legs apart or at least turn him over, and he does. A couple of right hands gets him out. Now into the turnbuckle, nobody home for the drop kick. Matrix, counter, trying the other turnbuckle. And this time he connects. Inziguri out of the back elbow. Folks still to come later tonight, the Citric King makes his return to Flashbang. He will go one-on-one -on -one with the Cleaver. And next week, we know that it will be Citric King versus Citric Kane, a doppelganger match. We also know that the tag titles will be on the line. Electro Reality challenging the Time Bandits. Now, oh, a slap to the face. And now into the cover, Matrix. Count of two, and a kick out by Bulldog. Now Matrix taunting. This is the one thing that's gotten him in trouble is his ego. Not afraid to show it off live in front of this flashbang audience. And Matrix now. The tree of woe position for Bulldog. Oh, and the foot right to the throat. 
and now shoots him over into the cover one. Kick out at one. Oh, expurgation! Into the cover, he got him, one, two, no! And Matrix can't believe it. And now a big drop kick. And now head first off the turnbuckle. Knee to the gut. And now, oh, sends him down. Matrix now with an, oh, he's a Gary right to his head. Double foot stomp there from Bulldog. DeLuna likes the look of that. Into the cover. Bulldog one. Count it, oh, and a kick out at one. Nice deep arm drag there. Now turning him around. Look out here. Oh, he might be going all the way up. And now laying him out. Boot to the midsection. Jawbreaker. And another counter now a dragon screw. And now these right hands. Trying to knock Bulldog out. Oh, he busted him open. And now just falls into the cover. Bulldog might be concussed. He was busted open, and he got him. Matrix got him. He opened Bulldog up the hard way, and that was it. Here is your winner, Lionel Matrix. Oh, and Bulldog has caught the ref. Bulldog is not, had, look at the blood. He is bleeding profusely and he is pissed in Matrix. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, a match with more huge Multivania implications. Moira Draco goes one-on-one -on -one with Tigri. The Troll Train currently sits at three wins, two by Tiki, one by Johan. If Tigri can get the fourth win, then Johan will have an opportunity in that eight-man showcase match to get win number five. And if he can do that, he will become the new number one contender, but it's all on Tigri's shoulders right now. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first. Representing Dungeons and Destiny, weighing in at 205 pounds, Moira Draco. because uh, this woman is going to be equally motivated. I'm on 
Introducing her opponent, representing the Troll Train, weighing in at 183 pounds, Tygiri! This is a huge match for Tygiri, I can't say it enough. And here we go. Tigiri and Moira Draco one on one. And a forearm shot by Tigiri. Two to the midsection. Moira clothesline. And now an elbow shot right there. Oh, Tigiri, Hurricane Rana. Mama versus the Glamazon. And now Moira shoots her in off the ropes. Big drop kick right there, but Tigiri stays on her feet. And a big Inzigiri. Now look at these kicks. Oh, what a roundhouse. Educated feet of Tigiri. Again, if Tigiri can win this match, Johan will get a shot at that eight man showcase match. We already know that Spike will be in his first showcase match ever in that match. And the winner of that showcase will get Victor Vicious at Multivania. Big elbow. It's Tigiri. A huge opportunity to go from not being on the card to being in the main event. And now Tigiri going high risk. Moira set up on the top rope. And now down to the tree of woe. Oh, God, wait, whoa, what in the world? Where's Tigiri going? Moira trying to get out. Mushroom stomp. Oh, good Lord. And now into the corner. And now look at these kicks. Just lighting them up, beating the drums of war. Tigiri not messing around. And now look out here. Northern Lights. Tigiri the counter, sent into the corner. And now the boost to the midsection, oh my God, right hand. What is Tigiri doing? Look out here, oh, the drive-by. Big drop kick to the face. Can Tigiri make the cover to put Yohan in the showcase? One, two, no! A mere second away. And out into the corner. Oh, look out here. Oh, what a super kick off the springboard. And now the big knee to the face. Oh, the Stargazer! That super kick right to the face. And now up over the top rope. Forearm shot. 
Tigiri trying to do her best to wear down Moira, one of the more resilient competitors. Oh, what a kick. Those feet are dangerous. The roundhouse misses. Moira with a forearm shot. You can hear the thud from over here. Forearm shot return to sender. Drop kick, nobody home. And oh, off the side of the apron. And now back into the ring, Moira not wanting to win this via count out. To the corner. Forearm shot, the snapmare. Look out here. Oh, the moonsault out of the cartwheel. Into the cover, no! One, two, oh, she kicked out. Oh, she kicked out. Woo! But this could be bad news. Tigiri, oh, the stargazer! Her own move! Her own move, Tigiri, one, two, now she kicked out! Oh my goodness! Right hand, another right hand. Single leg drop kick. Another right hand, oh look out here, Moira. Oh, Drathulu's leg drop. That's gotta be it. One, two, no. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. She's gonna go for it again. Stargazer. Into the cover. One, two, can she, no, she kicked out again. Tigeri will not die, I don't believe it. What is this woman made out of? To the corner. And now the kicks beating those drums of war. And drop the leg. And now it could be time. She's going to hit one of her own. Stargazer connects. Pin her Tigiri into the cover one, two. No, oh my god. She kicked out. What is this match? So she's gonna do it one more time to try to, so oh, she countered. Close line. Unbelievable. I cannot believe this Russian leg sweep. Right hand. Oh, this could be bad news. Down goes Tigiri. Into the cover! Can she kick out of this Rathulu? Yes! How? How is this even possible? These women are stealing the show! Counter! Moved out of the way. Trying to grab her by the hair. Up over the top rope. Counter again. Back elbow. Drop kick off the side of the ring. Somebody needs to tell these ladies that Multivania is in a couple of weeks. They are tearing the house down. Kick from Tigiri. And now back into the ring. Tigiri. Will this be it? Looking for a second stargazer. Oh, she missed. Close line. Good God. And now Moira's starting to get a little frustrated. Two. Three. And Gary 
trying to pick herself up. She has absorbed a lot of punishment. And now a boot to the mid -sow. look at here. Oh, the knee! The knee right to the jaw! And now waiting for Moira to get herself back to her feet. And now just glaring at Moira. And now the forearm shot. Send her to the outside. Uh-oh, this could be bad news. Moira, looking to go high risk. Moira, oh, Tope Suicida. Both ladies are down. And now on the outside, Moira. Oh, it's a counter. Maybe looking for the action surge. the knees, the elbows, oh, down goes Moira. Oh, and the foot right to the jaw. And now there's a counter by Moira. Shot to the face. Tigeri needs to get back in the ring and she knows that. She can only win in the ring. Off the ropes, drop kick, but look at her just shrug it off. Forearm shot, the body blow. Turning her around, big clothesline. Inside out, sir. The big lariat, so oh, and she kicked out. Tigeri is beside herself. What is it going to take? And now to the corner. And now here come the kicks. That's one way to beat the drums of war. And now the, oh, the double foot stomp. Will this be enough? If this isn't enough, would it come on? My goodness. Oh, the stargazer, but she got countered again. Another crucifix. Oh, look out here. Up on the shoulders. And down she goes. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, she kicked out. This matchup, I can't. Trying to power herself back up. And now the big knee. Down goes Moira. Clothesline. Another clothesline. And a single leg drop kick. And oh, look at that. Oh, the super kick, no. Out of nowhere. She got her. Two. Oh. Jawbreaker! Oh, the super kick! Return to sender! One, two, no! This is insane! Up over the top rope! Counter! Back in we go! Off the ropes! And there's the knee! Slap to the face! And a snap suplex! Into the cover, will this be enough? Two! Finally! Moira broke!
broke the streak! Damn it! Here's your winner, Moira Draco! Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it's the return of the Citra King, who will go one-on-one -on -one with the Cleaver. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Being accompanied to the ring by the Void Walker, Lord V, representing the Abyssal Void. Weighing in at 385 pounds, the Cleaver. Well, here comes the Meat Man with his Void Walker buddy. And tweeting out on social media, the outlaw, specifically Theron Eldrazi saying, lost and so help me God. I am tired of waiting outside. Let me the fuck in. I am ready to tear some shit apart. That, I think that's why you're banned. That, that right there, that's why you're banned. And introducing his opponent! Being a coming to the ring by Helix Sucks, weighing in at 222 pounds, the Citric King! Well, well, well! It's time to juice everybody, but we still have no idea who the real Citric is. For those of you that are just joining us, we have a doppelganger situation. We have a Citric King and a Citric Kane. And those two are gonna square off next week, but first, Citric trying to help out his old tag buddy. He's gonna go one-on-one -on -one with the man who's been a thorn in Helix's side, the Cleaver. And here we go. Citric out of the corner with the chops. 
And now a left hand, and going right after the arm of Cleaver. And now immediately into a hammer lock, and now the chin lock. And now the headbutt by the orange. Cleaver sent into the corner and a shoulder check by Citric. And now Citric King stomping on the fingers, on the wrist. And look out here, big shoulder check to Citric. And now Citric sent into the corner is Cleaver. Big back elbow in Zagiri by the juicy one. And now cover. Whoa, and a kick out immediately by Cleaver. Look at the size of him. Big elbow. Oh, the meat hook. Oh, my Lord in heaven. And now the orange sent to the ground. Into the cover off the meat hook and the head snap and a kick out. And now rolling out of the way is Citric. Look out here. Oh, a single leg takedown. And now Citric trying to pull himself up to a vertical base. Cleaver looking to inflict more damage but countered. And now hops back over. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, but it gets rocked. Another meat hook countered. Oh, the flashback. And immediately into the corner. Vintage Citric. Time for some sunny DDT in your life. Into the cover. One, two, no. And now Citric might have been looking to juice him, but counter. And now, oh, hard Irish whip into the corner. Citric counters. Oh, what a roundhouse. And an insecurity to keep him down. And now a stomp to the arm. Rolls out of the way. Cleaver to the corner. Uh-oh, this could be a problem. Citric in some trouble. Oh, look out here! Super choke slam off the top rope! Oh, good lord, the orange is broken in half! Cleaver, one, two, no! How the hell did Citra kick out of that? And now Cleaver going crazy. The clothesline. Citra trying to punch him. Oh, but Cleaver going to that dark place. Citra doesn't know what to do. Right hand. Oh, you're in trouble. Sitting off the ropes. Big boot. And now Cleaver drops the leg. And now again to the corner. Countered. In Zagiri. And now Citric with a little boogie woogie of his own. Oh, go! And he got countered. Shotgunned off the top rope. Citric King into the corner again. And Helix can only watch another counter, though. And counter for counter we go. And now looking for one more choke slam. Cleaver to put down the juicy one. Oh, but a kick into a side headlock. And right after the arm, what a counter by Citric. And now it's time to put some sunny DDT back in your life. 
Here comes the juicy one, and it connects! Turn him over, Citric, into the cover! One, two, no! And Citric can't believe it. But now trying to juice him. Citric pulling back. Vintage Citric. Cleaver with nowhere to go. And the juicy one picks up the win. Here is your winner, the Citric Kane. Citric with a big win and listen to that music. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we are gonna hear from the war boss, Nitzig Gunk Gobbler. No, that the war still pays me and he's had two chances and lost them both. I think it's time for another challenger. Me, the war boss, Nitsy Gunk Gobbler. The way I sees it, I helped you get that belt, boss. So it's only fair that I get a shot at taking it from you. Would be a better fight than the last wimp. So how about it, boss? You and me, mono e orgo, for the belt. After all, you ain't fought me yet. Wow, Nitzig once again calling out the leader of the cartel. He wants a title opportunity, but, uh, oh, well, hang on a second. I'm being told somebody's on their way to the ring. Oh, can we get a camera down there? I think the doctor will see you now. Oh, my dear Nidzig, did I hear you correctly? You want an opportunity at the world champion. My, how the cartel loves their infighting. You know, I, I was thinking to myself that maybe, Nidzig, you're on the right path, actually. You see, Nitzig, I was thinking about my own big green monster in the House of Caliban, and I was thinking who better to face Victor Vicious than someone he's never faced before. And while you're correct, you have never faced him before for the world title, neither has my creation. The man who is undefeated at Multivania. So if we're going to have an eight-man showcase match, how could you leave out the most dominant force on the show? So I'll tell you what, Nitzig, I have a proposal for you. If you believe you are the war boss, the biggest and baddest on Flashbang, how about Mr. Lawson, with your approval, we make sure that Nitzig and the creation have a slot in that eight-man showcase match. And then we will truly get to see who is worthy to face Victor Vicious. Because if you can survive eight other competitors, or rather seven other competitors, then I would say you earned an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with the champion in the main event of Multivania. But we all know Victor wants no part of House Caliban. Victor wants no part of the creation, because while we are a well-oiled machine, his cartel is falling apart. 
We're watching the divorce court of the Kales live and in living color before our very eyes. Nitzig challenging his own leader to a world title match, my dear Victor. Rather than make bold claims about Spike, who you have not cleanly defeated, perhaps you should get your house in order before you throw stones at mine. So I wish you the best of luck, whoever happens to be in this showcase. The creation will be waiting. Well, some strong words from the doctor. So I wonder if we'll actually get that. The creation in Nitzig to join Spike in that eight-man showcase match. That would be incredible. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is time for our main event. That's right, Artemis goes one-on-one -on -one with Lady Kath Gina in an Extreme Rules match with the multi-vindia livelihoods on the line of Jack Andrews, Jagger Blackthorn, and Graven. Not to mention his own. So can the Fae Queen do what she does best and play spoiler? Or will Artemis finally be able to put an end to Mr. Lawson and his tyrannical banning of wrestlers from Multivania. We're going to find out, and it's up next. It's your main event, so don't go anywhere. And ladies and gentlemen, while we have a quick moment, we'd like to remind everybody that tonight's episode of Friday Night Flashbang is brought to you in part by Lowe's. Lowe's? But why? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing in at 245 pounds from New York City, New York, he is the Omni Slayer, Artemis. So Artemis with a huge opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with Kev Gina. The woman who has been a thorn in Jagger Blackthorn's side and his side for months now. And if Artemis can pick up this win, he will be able to give Jack Andrews, Jagger Blackthorn, and Graven opportunities in Multivania. And introducing her is a party. Weighing in at 192 pounds, Lady Kath Gina. So the Fae Queen making her way down to the ring. So Kev Gina with a huge opportunity to spoil the multivania plans of Artemis. If he loses this match, he too will ride the pine during the biggest show of the year. And here we go. Kev Gina out of the blocks, dropping Artemis down to the mat. Big neck breaker from Artemis. 
Trying to work over the arm, and now grabbing the leg, arm wrench, leg wrench. This is an extreme rules match. Anything goes with everything on the line. Artemis catches a right hand from Kev Gina. And now a boom, what a big splash. Nice cross body off the middle rope. And Kev Gina doing work to Artemis. And now Artemis, deep arm drag there to Kev Gina. He's wanted to get his hands on the fake queen for some time. And now look out here, off the ropes. Oh, and it's Stomp. Oh, a counter, roll up, roll up. One, two, she go, and a kick out. Oh, that would have been awful. Oh, my goodness. And a float of her neck breaker, but a counter by Kev Gina. And now Kev Gina going after the knee, Artemis. In some trouble. Snapmare. And now yanking the leg again. Making that the focus of her attack. And now into the cover. One and a kick out. And now stomping on the back of the head. Again, folks, your main event, Multivania stipulations on the line. What a big boot from Artemis. Win and Artemis can help out his buddies lose and he rides the pine. And now going for a weapon, not wasting any time. Artemis with uh, some lumber again, not sponsored by Lowe's, but plenty of lumber under the ring. Kevjina grabs the table though. Oh, and a right hand into the table. And now again grabs it out of his hands. And throwing it to the side. Side headlock there by Artemis, pushing Kev Gino away. Look out here, oh, the DDT! A big uppercut to Kev Gino. Kick counter, back and forth we go. Oh, look out here. Looking for the Winter's Kiss! But pinfalls can only happen inside the ring. Kev Gina rolling Artemis in. And now a stomp to the back. Dragging him towards the ropes. Wait a second. This is all legal. Kev Gina using the ropes. All legal. Wait a second. Ref, come on! Damn it! Here is your winner, Lady Kev Gina. Are you kidding me? That's the second time she's used the ropes, but this time it was totally legal. Are you kidding me? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us here on Friday Night Flashbang. <sighs> My name is Eric Generics, and we're going to get all this sorted out on Friday. Join us at our regular start time, same channel. Don't miss it. Good night. And above game real quick, we're going to do some bits and subs, and then we're going to get you guys out of here. Uh, let's see what's going down. Uh, we got Squinto being giving a tier one sub to Matrix. X Wiley Willie giving a tier one sub to Bree Mode. Guy Jingumba, thank you for the raid of 111. Good grief. Hex, thank you so much for the raid as well. Uh, Doppelganger giving a tier one sub to the Citric King. Miss Tweedums giving a tier one sub to Doppelganger. And Doppelganger giving a tier one sub to Miss Tweedums and JMP08. The Fay Queen, Lady Kajina, being gifted a tier one sub from Shinikas. 
Thank you so much, Shin. And the Citra King with 500 bits. Good show. No, good orange. And uh, let's find somebody to raid. Uh, all right. Let's see. Who do we have? We've got... So, actually, I, I'm going to make... so I Oh, I can't. They're not... Oh, I would be cheating. A buddy of mine is streaming for the first time in forever, and they're playing Resident Evil. But, oh, man. Oh, I technically would be cheating. Oh, decisions. And there's so many people from the community on. Oh, decisions. Oh. All right. Just once, I'm going to raid my buddy. Uh, his name is Timber Puppers. Uh, some, some of you guys have maybe heard of me refer to my buddy Timber. He used to live in Los Angeles. He recently moved out to uh, to Boston, so we're going to surprise him with a raid. He's uh, playing Resident Evil 7. So, yeah, I'm going to be a good friend, and we're going to raid the pupper. Uh, we need a raid message. So, Bull's out in the chat if you got him, but the raid message is going to be, you're a good boy. So, yeah, it's going to be, you're a good boy. He'll understand. It's great. Uh, give him lots of love. Definitely check him out. Uh, he's only got, I think, 17 viewers. So very small stream right now. We're going to make sure that changes. So yeah, raid message is uh, you're a good boy. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, have a great rest of your night. I'm going to go get some food. I'll see you in the Discord, and I'll see you on Friday. Good night!